Hey Jeremy, this is Charles here. It was good seeing you at the reunion, man. It was, and I'm glad we're keeping in touch. It was also really good to meet your wife. Um, remember, uh, just like I said, this is uh, my small company. I started your local SEO professionals. And uh, like I promised, I'm going to uh, sh to shoot this video, I'm going to just review your website and um, give you three tips on what you guys can do even right now to um, drive more people towards your site. Um, these three tips are what Google usually uses to rank sites, especially um, in local searches for businesses. And um, let me not waste any more of your time. So the three things I want to talk about are content, citations, and backlinks. Now, starting with content, I've just selected every everything you see in blue. This is what Google considered as content, considers as content. All the text, even the images, um, even what the images are saved as. Like you can see, this picture is saved as recruiting one. All that is content. Now, to optimize with Google, it's important to have between, it's optimal to have between uh, 15 hundred one thousand and fifteen hundred words of um, authoritative content meaning content about what you guys do who you are and also to saturate that content with keywords um, keywords are the phrases that someone types into Google to look for your business for example if I type employment agencies Lancaster that's a keyword um, I'm not sure why it's called keyword dude. I think it would be rather be called key phrase, but anyway, that's the lingo, keywords. And um, so, like I was saying, it's important to saturate all your text with uh, good keywords. And actually, let me show you why. I have this tool called Arefs. Um, it's a popular tool um, that helps to um, <clears throat> excuse me that helps to analyze websites. So I just put in your website here, and I can tell you have about um, sixty three organic keywords. Um, organic traffic that's coming to your site is uh, six per month from those keywords um, and this is the value if you're gonna ever pay for ads this is the traffic value um, now if I come here to your keywords this is what you're ranking for these keywords here employment solutions Lancaster actually I was thinking it's, it's really clever to call um, your company Liberty employment solutions um, yeah, because you drank for that as well. But Liberty Employment, about a hundred people search for that per month. The traffic you get from that keyword is about 4.2 people. You're position eight for that keyword. So if I were to search for Liberty Employment, you'd rank on maybe uh, page two. I don't believe that's the second page of uh, the first page of Google um, Google searches. Anyway, back to keywords. I just took the liberty to okay let's let's analyze a keyword together so employment solutions lancaster like a, a, about 10 people search for it per month and this tool is really cool because it can tell me the traffic share by domain how many people you can see your second employee solutions.com takes about 36 percent of the traffic share you take about 13 percent of the traffic share that's great but you can steal a bit more by ranking higher for this keyword, meaning having it more saturated within your website. Um, I searched for, a, well, let's look at related terms, related keywords. And if your website had a keyword like um, staffing agencies Lancaster PA, we have about, the volume is about 150 people so if we analyze that keyword, 150 people per month search for it. By domains, you can see, um, I think your big competitor is Eretic, because I keep on seeing them, and TriStar Jobs. But um, they're, they're grabbing about 22 people per month just by that keyword. And I don't see you... So it seems like you, you don't rank... You don't have that keyword or you don't rank for it. So it'd be pretty easy just to include that keyword in your in the text on your website and start to outrank these these guys over here. All right, so I said Eretech.com. I took the liberty of also just putting them into the tool. 
I can see that they have a pretty strong website and the reason is they're a national company. They go from California to Pennsylvania, different cities. However, I just want to take a look at, just to show you. Um, now, for them, their keywords have, these are branded keywords because they, it includes their name. But if I take a keyword, uh, let's see, something like temp agencies, Lincoln, Nebraska, about 200 people search for that. They get 79% of the traffic, 79 of the traffic. They're in the first position for that keyword. That's why they rank very high because they have good positioning on different keywords. Um, Huntsville, Alabama, 200 people. This rank first, so they get 70 people, 74 people going towards the website. All right, so let's jump over and um, try and find out um, how they rank in, in Lancaster. For Lancaster, sorry, locally in Lancaster. So here's Pennsylvania. I'm on their website. And for Lancaster, let's go to their, um, their web page. And I'm going to put that into my tool and just show you <clears throat> for, oh, no, Pennsylvania, Lancaster, that's all it needs. Okay. So for the keyword staffing agencies in Lancaster, PA, they, they're taking, they have 100 people searching for it per month, grabbing 43 people because they're in the first position. So it'd be pretty easy to come and grab these keywords that have high volume and rank for them so that as you rank higher and higher you begin to take this traffic from them because you can see these are a lot of people who are coming here per um, per month for them going directly to their website so um now that doesn't mean that these are automatic clients. It depends on their conversion rate, how many people visit the website, give them a call, and become clients. But you, you get the gist of it. Keywords are important. All right, so the second thing I wanted to talk about is citations. Now, citations has to do when um, someone searches for a keyword, and, and for the results of a keyword, usually, okay, let's say I search employment agencies, Lancaster. The first two ads here you can see these are google ads the thing i tell people about ads is that they're always hit or miss usually it's pay per click so every time someone clicks you get charged um that doesn't mean that you actually convert them into your client also a lot of people these days have google have ad blockers on their phones so the people who advertise here miss out on that market um and also just psychologically some people don't just don't like to um to uh, click on ads. But anyway, citations have to do with this next area here called the map pack. Let me, um, this area here. You'll have a map of the local area and three companies here. If we click on it, you'll get to more companies. But to appear here on the first page um, has to do with citations. Now, citations are anywhere on the web that you're your business name, address, and phone number are cited in directories. So directories like uh, whitepages.com, yellow pages, better business bureau, Yelp, LinkedIn, etc. Et the more um, the more directories you're in and more reputable directories, the higher you'll rank. And like we said, Aerotech, I'm, I'm, because it is a, a national company, it will rank high. But locally, you are able to beat it by having more, um, by being cited in more local directories because um, Google will tell you're more relevant to the user. And there are various tools out there, which uh, there's one that I have called WhiteSpark that I can um, look up the citations of your competitor so that I could uh, double or triple the number of citations for your site and you can drag them and land here. In the map pack and the third thing i want to talk about has to do with these organic um, search results down here now um the way to rank here is what's known as backlinks now a backlink is a link on a different website that directs to you for example if um an employment agency in lincoln nebraska has a blog 
linking to you that would with your um your website on that blog linking to you directing people to you that's a backlink not all backlinks are the same because um if it's a pizza hut that's linking to you you guys have nothing to do with pizza hut with pizza so google will consider that like a spammy uh, backlink now coming back to this tool here i want to analyze the backlinks of your of, of your company so let me go back here uh, you know what? Um, uh, sorry, I want to uh, go back to the overview of your company. Okay, I can see you have about a thousand five hundred backlinks, and if I click here, I can tell what each of your backlinks are. Um, and I can do that the same with your competitor. Let's go to Aerotech. Here, let's overview the site. He has about 791 backlinks. And I can tell what they are. To be able to beat his backlinks or whoever her, his or her backlinks, I'd come here, look them up, and make sure that you're go to that backlink and make sure that you're included. Um, on that site as well. Usually it's ba ba strong backlinks or blogs or um, or directories, um, things that are relevant to your business, sites that are relevant to your business. Um, just to take another overview of backlinks now, you can see you have more, but you don't rank as high because the quality of the backlinks, remember I said it has to be, they have to be more relevant to you to rank higher. Um, a lot of your backlinks do not have a good strength. And looking at Aerotex, same, but they're more spread out. And there's a higher percentage in um, that has a little bit stronger. What I would do is try and get you to have more backlinks in the 40 to 80 range. And therefore, you don't need that many to actually beat your competitor. And it's just a matter of going out, researching, and finding good backlinks. To link to you so those are the three things jeremy sorry i've taken quite a bit of your time i wanted to be i wanted this to be less than 10 minutes but um thanks for thanks for listening all the way through um these are the th three things you can do and usually this is where i tell people you can take the tips implement them give them to your seo people give them to your website person or if you want to save time you know me i am with your local seo professionals charles um, this is my business number, and my email is charles at seopros.com. Sorry, I mean charles at your local seopros.com. Thanks a lot, and uh, have a great day.